Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where don't think I forgot about the apparent potential um, fake person in my camp. I totally did. Uh, but I just remembered. <laughs> so yay me. Uh, I, the Cambian is so annoying. <laughs> I feel bad but... I wonder if the gods are watching me. Let's see, he keeps making noises. He makes more noises than Allison does. That's curious. Oh, Halson saw it, but what did he see? What? This secret door that's back here that's very obvious? Okay. I think it's kind of crazy that we can just summon a living, breathing, sentient, autonomous Cambian and just have it run around with us for a while. My own now. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. I, how can I not trust that voice? You know what I'm saying? Like... Whoa! Scroll of chain lightning. I feel like I should give some of these to people. Uh, give it to Allison? You know? I just... I feel like I shouldn't necessarily take all of them. Of oh, this? A shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Okay. The Emperor's Wardrobe? My old wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be. And so appearances matter. Okay. <gasps> Cerebral Citadel armor. It's heavy armor. Oh, praise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Frightened. I mean, I can't be frightened. That would be handy, eh? Uh, if the wearer is infested with a mind flower tag, pull the game plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. So I'm like, why would you specify tadpole? But it's because characters like Halston don't have a tadpole. The little tentacle engravings are a nice touch. I'm through. It looks like it's going to show off my belly. Cerebral citadel gloves. Charm or frighten a creature to gain 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. The taunt violet leather is drier than snakeskin and puckered at each knuckle with a shallow mouth-shaped pit. That's horrifying. So like you're punching somebody with open mouths. This looks like light armor, but this is <gasps> But my my arm my current armor looks so good. Let's see, let's see. We gotta look at ourselves. We look really good. Hang on. You switch over to this other weapon. Not the. Why are you holding this one? Okay. It's annoying to try to see it past the glow. Wow. I really like it. Even with the cloak, it looks good. And what if I put. What if I did it in like the brown and marble? Or should I leave it as it is? I might have to mess with the color on this. I I, I want to wear it so bad. Let's see. Ah, uh, the other one is slightly better technically. Reaper's rigidity. The howl of the dead has been nice too. Oh. Okay. I was checking out I because I had that purple. I had a purple thing, a purple outfit of a version of this, but I like this coloration better. Even though I don't like the pants at all, they look so dumb. I like the shirt, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this necessarily. Maybe it's like the swooping collar. Because this is, the, I don't know, this, this is great, <laughs> you know? But I think I just don't like the swoop. I don't know what it is. Regardless. 
hang. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta play with the dies. I gotta play with the dies. And I do have, uh, like, a die remover. So I know if I, um, if I don't like, if I want to go back to this original one, I can. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the dark amethyst. Oh, yes, I think I like that. Oh, I think I like it. I could go try the red. If I could get a black and gold, I would lose my mind. Uh, let's risk it for the biscuit. Oh my gosh, immediately yes. Immediately yes. Do I want to change the cloak? Do I like, do I like, I, listen, it's a little bit McDonald's-y. It's a little bit McDonald's-y, but like, it's gold enough, it's not yellow, right? Also, I thought this was open. It is not open, but it was, it's just very form-fitting, so you can see your abs. I think the arms are, oh yeah, that's her skin, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is my skin. Yeah, right? Oh, God, it's so hard. Maybe not. No. No, it's not. I can see. I see the difference now. I was like, this is, like, weird. This is not, like, there's, like, a veins popping out. I think that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's not what her skin actually looks like. I had to get closer. This is a lot darker than her skin is, actually. Uh, okay. The thing is about the General Drake dye is I don't have a lot but I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see what it does. No, I don't like it. I don't like the cloak. Oh my gosh, you guys see this though? Very good. I don't, the cloak has to be a different color or it has to be just red. Maybe it's just a dark red. I have one. Black and furnace red, maybe? muddy red or just straight up red uh-huh uh-huh yep 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 oh mm. so good shoot i just realized the boots i don't have anything to dye the boots with let's see uh am i wearing light boots no those are okay um okay we're gonna have to maybe do maybe do muddy red dye maybe okay it doesn't really change it but it takes kind of the blue out which is fine okay yeah so it's just regular metal maybe i should wear like hmm maybe i should look at different boots i was kind of running out of boots though I didn't dye the bracers either. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Obviously I don't deserve, I don't deserve anything nice. Okay, we got some red tints in there now. It's still kind of silvery, I don't, uh, it's too, yeah, I'd have to do the Drake again to like, gosh dang it, I think the Drake too was, um, I think I've used it all up. I don't think I'll be able to buy any more. Because it was, it like came with like the pre-order, I think, is what it seemed like anyway. Ah, that's much better. So the higher quality one, the better it'll change the, the metal instead of just everything else. Maybe I should do that for the boot. I think I should. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fun. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. Mm-hmm. It's subtle. It's subtle, but, oh, yes. Like, changing it from the silver to the black. <laughs> having such a good time. Oh, baby. And this is totally opposite. Like, it was kind of going for, like, a dark, like, gray, blue kind of dark red, I think, like very ominous illithid kind of colors, right? And now I'm like, 
Yeah, but consider. I stand out. Oh my gosh. I really like it. Mm -mm -mm. It's a bit ostentatious, but you know. Oh my gosh, I'm a match car like. <laughs> I match car like. Sword of the Emperor? I do be loving swords. I am a sword girly. My own sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. Wow, this guy is, like, getting in good. Also, I dropped the dead rat I've been carrying around. That was it? Let's see. Mmm, doesn't do as much as what I've got. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 damage against shapeshifters or polymorph creatures. Magical durability, I have a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. That is nice. But I am really enjoying my Moonlight Glaive. I know I have like an ability for like sh shields and I just, listen, glaives and I go way back. Ever since I read the Protector of the Small series from Tamora Pierce, I always thought glaives were the coolest weapons on the planet. But let me look at this. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It's like, pl like plain, I don't know, not ostentatious, but the blade is like a nice gold that does match my outfit. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't. Also, the light is truly really nice. I do enjoy having the light spell just like on hand. That might be worth a look. Uh, um, the mirror? Oh, Stelmane's portrait. Hmm. There she is, in all her glory. Duke Belen Stelmane, my own partner. I wonder. He said that it wasn't it wasn't intimate necessarily, but I do wonder if maybe he did have feelings and didn't really know how to say it. You know. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but. Otherwise, it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. Well, okay, I was like, wait a second, his mother, he's been... But it was before, because he was... We did hear from him how he was human before he became illithid, obviously. I mean, it's just kind of how it works for them. Scroll of Phantasmal Killer. Haunted creature with its worst nightmare. It takes 4 to 40 psychic damage. Wow. I'm gonna keep that one. Notes on Mind Flayer Anatomy. Insights gleaned from research. Mind Flayers must consume the brains of humanoids in order to stay alive. They said that the act of devouring a humanoid brain results in a state of euphoria and contributes to the thin glaze of mucus that coats a Mind Flayer's skin. Horrifying. Also, how how do you know that? Some research. Who have we studied Mind Flayers? Some researchers go so far as to claim that it's possible to deduce how recently another Mind Flayer fed, and indeed the health of its victim from the viscosity of that mucus. That would take a horrendous kind of experiment to figure out. Little is known about what a Mind Flayer's brain contains. Some have argued that their skulls are filled with eggs that will later become the tadpoles with which they enthrall their victims. Others propose that the brain is in fact a cluster of pure cerebral nerves. Since Mind Flayers procreate by tadpoling humans, they technically have no need of genitals, but I have been unable to verify this in the absence of any, uh, any rare. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> that is something the people need to know. The people need to know. And unfortunately, in this playthrough, I cannot... I cannot tell you all because I am not romancing the mind player in my mind, which is a travesty, and I will do it someday. Something I've I heard. will do it. I'm slowly acquiring, um, slowly getting back into my games with my friends, and I'm hoping to definitely do that with <laughs> with my necromancer. The chains I use to bind my means, villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. Where you could. Morality is not something you can just pick and choose, bucko. You know what I mean? There's something over there. Empty brain jar. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice. 
nice to find one to sustain me. You haven't had. Have you been feeding off my brain this whole time? Hold on a second. Yeah, you. Wow. Ah. Hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, now that I'm like, wait a second, he hasn't eaten and he's technically just in like another dimension in there? Maybe he's just been eating the Gith Yankee brains of the people we killed? Hmm. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. So he kept, even, because this is when he was a mind flayer, when he was down here, so he kept some of his human stuff. I think he was human. Scroll of Fane Death. We'll give that. The Gale's probably still the squ- Now we'll get to staring. <laughs> I was like, who's the squishiest? All right, I think we got everything around the edges of the room. Secret, secret way out. Yeah, any food in here is gonna be bad. Food kept for the other mortals. Is the milk good? This is just a way out. Find the night song. That's right. We gotta speak to Loken. There is stuff in here. I gotta bring. Maybe I switch Will out for Gale. Excuse you. Why? Why the spooky sounds? We're in the sewers. Can I get out? I don't want to be here. Is that a, that is a mind flayer mannequin. Ooh. Duke bell name, patient log. <gasps> Let's see what this does. Oh no. Oh, hello? <laughs> Somebody just walked in. Uh, journal stamp with the What? It's not safe. What? It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Uh, this is this is not Lazelle. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that this is um uh, a doppelganger, but there was poison cloud back there. First, I know what you're doing down here. Shapeshifter, or in the red, she sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she <laughs> slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. <laughs> a toast, she said. To her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still Is can. this real? <laughs> Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too I was just trying to read. I you will not stand. I feel like she might be tricking me. I feel like this might be Orin. But we did have we did have that whole thing in camp about there being an imposter. So I'm like, maybe I was supposed to go to camp sooner. I was like, yeah, there's an imposter. Okay, hang on a second. I like did several other things and inadvertently ended up finding where they stashed my friend. It could happen. I'm not leaving you behind. You're coming with us. You let the Githyanki wait. Yeah, I knew it! She would make corpses of you all. You will! Ooh, that is so disturbing. Ar Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek? Little I kitty. actually legitimately know. <gasps> hush, hush. Or in Take care of you and your little pet. Which pet? Does she have like? I totally accidentally. Apparently, accidentally. I mean, all she has to do is look at somebody to shape shift into them, right? Like all she'd have to do is glance at one of my companions, um, and and be able to shape shift into one of them. But like, this would have been weird to encounter. This would have been better for sure to encounter in my own camp. Wow. Oopsie. I literally just wanted to read this journal about this patient log of Duke Stelmane because I thought maybe Duke Stelmane, like they said she was murdered, but I was like, maybe they were doing experiments on her or something. So I was just, I just popped out here. 
from the tavern. I wasn't trying to do anything. What are we doing, Lazel? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will not slice. Ruff. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. I am delicious. <laughs> um, how does one become a ball person, you know? And all the I mean, is she, was she human? Was she always a doppelganger? Like, I said, you're, you're born a doppelganger, right? Is this her true form? Like, how do you, how do you become this? You know what I'm saying? Um. So does everybody else. I'm afraid I'll have to wait his turn. The murder lord does not need permission to kill. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened, thin and jagged. <sighs> yes, I will tell you what to do. Uh, I think I'm sharp enough already. I'll show you right here. No, no, not here, not now. The tyrant must fall first. Oh. You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip drain him into father's open jaws. Uh -huh. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. Why does she have to crack her neck every time? We slice and shred each other. <laughs> The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your face. I think I'll make a deal with her. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Yeah, she also has a hostage. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones. Yeah. And the chance to control the crown alone. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit. As might your own. Oren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Yeah, nope, I'm way more, I'm way more afraid of this lady. Or way more, I'm more afraid of this lady than I am of Gortash. But in in the moment, she's definitely the higher threat. Like I said before, Gortash has to at least appear to be civil, right? He has a game he's trying to play, like a political game. Whereas Orin is like, I literally just want to rip and tear asunder. You know what I mean? And you're like, <laughs> also her people can just like, turn into anybody and stab me in the back like the steel watchers you can see coming from a mile away you know and there's a foundry where i could potentially figure out how they work maybe take them apart i don't know or like when i go to the hells maybe i can you know do something with like figure out how they work or something anyway she's way more of a threat <laughs> it's like you she also literally like i know gortash technically had will's dad but he has to keep him alive for like purposes like like appearances right whereas this lady could literally just whoosh, tear Lazelle apart and um yeah that would be bad that would be super bad okay um I feel like yeah this is definitely more back to me in a corner than anything else so be it I will kill Gortash Lazelle lives then we fight for the final nether stone 
promise of slaughter, of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Mm. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull. Sure, meat. yep. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, Bone Killer. I do like that name. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. Can I have <laughs> her back? Stone. <gasps> we'll set the bait for what? <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That's not my plan. That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. <laughs> so she's gonna keep Lazel? Uh, and I got a backpack. Is it all Lazel's stuff? <gasps> oh my gosh, it is! It's all it's all stuff! She actually did! She actually took Lazelle! I... Okay, uh, we'll just send it to camp, I guess? And I can't rescue Lazelle! I can't have her back! I have to begin. I have I have to do the whole thing too, where I try to free Orpheus without Lazel, unless I try to go kill Gortash first, which seems like it would be. I have to do the Steel Watch first. I have to do all of it without Lazel. Oh my gosh! I mean, I didn't bring out a ton anyway, but we were building up this big story with the whole Orpheus thing. But I could do all of that without her at this point, I guess. I just let me just read this. Oh, it's stamped with the official seal of Duke Stalemate and appears to be the tenant's log of the care given during the Duke's ongoing illness. The most recent entries date deterioration of the Duke. That's right, she was she was ill, or at least becoming like uh, like she was getting um she was getting a cane and stuff like that, right? Like it was difficult for her to move. Can't explain the relapse. Duke's ap lack of appetite, awareness, or interest in anything. Occasionally asks after a visitor, which I suspect might be cause of current condition. Duke used to receive visitor in private every ten day. Always hooded and cloaked, always shown in, and left to attend the Duke privately. No luck in finding. Oddly enough, can't recall visitors' gender or even stature. Could be half orc or halfling, for all I know. Hoping for their return, visits appeared to ease the Duke's mind and body greatly. Okay, because I was getting worried here that the visitor, that the emperor, this is the emperor, obviously, right, was causing the issue. Um, but apparently the emperor was kind of keeping Stillman alive. I'm going to take that. We already did that. Psionic manipulations and countermeasures. A thorough account of how best to protect your mind from illicit manipulation and subsequent domination. When dealing with mind flares, remember that it is an, in their nature to assess the utility, strengths, and weaknesses of those around them, and to manipulate in order to get what they want. <laughs> I'm being manipulated. <laughs> the best countermeasure you can take against a mind flare is to simply avoid it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Any attempts to outsmart it will fail. If that's not an option, then there are three things to remember that may be that may just save your mind. Pay attention to its actions, not its words. Where mind flayers are concerned, it is true that actions speak louder than words, especially words that are tailor-spoken to fit a mind flayer's manipulative agenda. Strengthen your relationship with others. The greatest thing you can do to offset a mind flayer's designs upon you is to have allies. Strong allies. Okay, game, I get it. Trust in those you know you can trust and build... <laughs> trust in those you know you can trust. And build your relationships with them. They are the ones who will have your back when you most need it. So when the Mind Flayer Emperor inevitably turns on me, uh, my friends will help me. Even Mind Flayers have wants and desires. The only circumstances in which a relationship with a Mind Flayer may be beneficial to you is if you both want exactly the same thing. In the unlikely case that this is true, bear in mind that once you have outlived your purpose to a Mind Flayer, they will have no use for you. So I shouldn't be listening to the Mind Flayer. But this is potentially a Mind Flayer that is being controlled by an Elder Brain. Whereas my emperor, I think, is not. I mean, I think, at this point. What? I'm going to keep that one. It's interesting, it's interesting that there's a mind flayer dummy here. 
More for me. Okay, I'm not gonna. Apparently, her domain is the sewers, which is wild. I guess we could go try to rescue Lazel, but I think we get caught and Lazel would die. You know? Oh. Uh, like, she seems to be everywhere all at once. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. I can't seem to outsmart Orin. Maybe I could pretend. Oh my gosh. Yucky. Can't do anything with it. Impatient plans for Baldur's Gate. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. This is. I feel like people would What's come down idea? here to the sewers sometimes. So it seems like a bad place to leave your, you know, world domination plans. These traveler's chests have a lot. Okay, we need to get out, and then I'm gonna go, um, straight to camp. Oh. This was just another- oh. Oh, I thought that ladder was going to take... It looked like there was light up top. So I thought it was going to take us outside. I thought it was like a different route. Uh, apparently not. And this does not even say hatch into the sewers. Well, at least I know how to get into the sewers now. Uh, we have to do a long rest anyway. And we have to go back to camp. <laughs> because... Ah, because I've done a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I've done a... At least I didn't leave... Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I have Karlak and Halston with me. Oh my gosh, if she had taken Karlak or Halston, I would have been so upset. <laughs> that would have that would have changed the motivational pattern very quickly for, for what I'm about to do next. But uh, That's wild. I even... I was just like, oh, it'll be fine. Like, whatever's there will wait for me. <laughs> I just stumble fate first fate fate first and face first into the actual solution to my problem i guess what's funny is it says it even says to go out here through the hatch and that's why i thought it was a way out to the upper to like the lower city anyway this is crazy this is this is insane uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go camp right after this. So, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.